So the reason I'm making this video is because a young, younger brother of mine in the faith reached out to me by way of email and he pretty much wanted to know some answers in regards to a particular relationship that he has with the younger lady at, at his church. And after a little, I did a little digging, some back and forth emails, I pretty much found out that he's hanging out with this woman, kind of like a platonic relationship where they're on the friend line and, you know, they go to the movies together, they go on walks and they hang out. And I had to rebuke him and I, I went into why that relationship is wrong and why it will eventually lead to both of you falling into sin. Or as Paul Washer likes to say, sliding into sin, because it is a process. It's not just falling. There are steps to getting to that sin. And uh, it's little steps, but those little steps lead you to eventually falling. And I remembered uh, a, a Q&A that Paul Washer had at Grace Community Church in Los Angeles, John MacArthur's church. And he had a he had some great insight in regards to this topic, and I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, an excerpt from that Q and A. It's really good advice. But as far as relationships with the opposite sex, we are not friends with women. We don't play with women. We don't even, especially women you're attracted to, and even more so if that woman is a sister in Christ and the Lord. We take this very serious. Sexual sin is one of the greatest. It's one of the greatest tools that Satan uses to, to, to bring us to a place we shouldn't be. So we need to put up walls. We need to protect ourselves and not just ourselves, but the, the, the woman who we consider a sister in Christ, because before anything, she's a sister and we need to treat her as such. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. Uh, the link to the full, it's an hour long q and I'll post that in the description of this video. Thank you for listening. Because God has that. And the only difference is I need to wait. I told my sons from the time they were young, you know, and I, I usually tell young men this, they're five, six, seven years old. I'll ask them, I said, so you're praying for your wife? And they go, what? <laughs> well, you're seven. She's probably born. <laughs> <laughs> She's somewhere in the world right now. You praying for her father? that he'd be a good father. You praying for her to be protected from evil men. You need to act like her husband now. When guys say, well, I'm not married yet, so I can, no, 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 no. There's a girl out there. And you keep yourself pure for God. You keep yourself pure for her. You, you act as though you're already married. You may not meet her for 20 more years, but you need to be interceding for her, praying for her praying for her protection, standing in the gap for her. And again, you need to act like a man. That's what men do.